There are a few major things that make the perfect maple bat. One is straightness of grain, the density of the wood, and the craftsmen that put it together. I am Sam, and I made the first maple bat for the Major League Baseball. These are the details of how a Sam bat is made. I always thought if I was ever going to be successful at something, it would be something that would be one piece and be perfectly made, and then that happens to be a baseball bat. Sam bat makes roughly 4,000 bats a year for Major League Baseball each one from a solid piece of maple wood. And over the last 22 years, they've worked with some of the biggest names that have transcended the game, including an all-time home run champion, Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds hit 73 home runs for us one year. That's why we called the bat 2K1 so I could remember. Today, Sam is gonna make the 2K1. And to start, he has to pick the right piece of wood. To make one bat by hand, you do have to read the wood. And we learned to read wood very early in our careers, and we also learned to weigh and uh, determine density very early. After finding the right piece of lumber, Sam uses a player's template bat to cut the initial shape. After the initial cut, the bat is measured down to a hundredth of an inch. The first bat I made, I spent probably close to 10, if not 15 hours on. The carving and cutting of the bat was five minutes of that time. The rest of the time was sanding. Sanding is the most important step in the bat making process. And because of that, there are three separate stations. When we were using the hand sander on the lathe, that is all cutting across the grain of the bat. So then when we took it over to the wheel to wheel the bat, that's when you finally start to see some results. Although lots of woodworkers use this sander, this one was a custom modification built in Sam's garage. It's being brushed the right direction, and you're also brushing the bat that direction. So that gives you a smooth factory finish. Okay, so the sanding is done. Now it's time to go to the paint shop. Maple used outdoors has to be painted or covered. Otherwise, it has open grain, it absorbs moisture, it doesn't do very well. Each bat is then hand painted with at least one coat of water-based paint. You have to check off at each step. If we don't have an inspector at the end of the line, everybody inspects. If that flaw shows up in the paint shop, then the bat is instantly rejected, no matter what stage it's at. After a quick spray to seal the grain, the bat's dry for at least 30 minutes. Then it's time for the final details and the final inspection. If a player doesn't see the shape he wants to see, then we've failed ourselves. They have to be perfect. Perfection is part of the game. There are 11 people on the sand bat team, and all of them are master craftsmen. The crew here are wonderful craftsmen, and they're very dedicated in each department. I have a lot of respect for people who do things repetitively and correctly, constantly. Sambat has roughly 100 players that use their bat in Major League Baseball each season. And while the players have changed, one rule has always remained the same. Rule 110 makes the perfect baseball bat. It insists that it be wood. And it's one of the big reasons the game is still magical. The bat is a perfect thing.